I grew up in Miami it's in the 70s, you know, just 70s kid running around being a maniac, youngest of four, always chipping teeth and stealing bicycles and riding too fast. And then uh, 10 years old in 1980, I moved to Brandon, Florida. I think the same year Trevor did. Yeah, I was born in Jacksonville, same thing, grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. The year before we met, I was living in a different neighborhood, and then one year later my parents bought a house in the neighborhood Tardies were living in. We were in the same neighborhood, literally, oh, like okay. oh, yeah. a couple Riding. blocks from each other. Oh yeah, two minute bike ride kind of thing. Yeah, <clears throat> be on the same bus to go to school, you know. For me, like anything that was on the radio, classic rock stuff, you know, from Skinner to Alban Brothers, Foreigner, like Boston. Like my uncle, he loved music a lot, so he'd always play like Boston or Mott the Hoople. And what really for like metal, I heard like Maiden and Sabbath, that stuff really got me into like really heavier, you know, more aggressive music. And then locally, Nasty Savage and Sabotage, that, that's really what turned the table for wanting to play music, you know? I mean, I remember I was probably 14 years old and went, they were playing a show at the fairgrounds and I went and I was blown the fuck away. I was like, wow, this is sick. You know, there's like a couple hundred kids there but just the music and it was intense. And I knew, I was like, man, this, that's sick. I want to do that. Yeah, and you know, we were a, a family of music lovers. My dad was totally into music, but it was obviously in the 70s again, like, you know, country music and grinning and a picking kind of shit. And, uh, and I had an oldest brother that had a massive uh, vinyl collection. So re at a super young age, probably like seven or eight years old, when he would go to school or go to work, I'd sneak in there and check out the vinyl and listen to Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and Elton John and Queen and so that was early on and then you know the minute I met Trevor it was Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath and we were still playing vinyl and kind of tripping on stuff before death metal even was evolved you know obviously like most people that, that are our age. We had a record store in our town called Melody Music and it was this dude he had every underground metal album known to man in there that's where I discovered like Sacrifice and Frost. Yeah, and a lot of stuff for me was all hand-me-downs, you know, from somehow John getting his hands on it or Trevor, and it's always on cassette somehow, you know, <laughs> back in the day. And uh, yeah, you know, finding Celtic Frost or Hellhammer vinyls, and I think me and my brother bought the Hellhammer vinyl and we're tripping on that but immediately. And, uh, you know, tape trading. When I heard John Bonham, and Led Zeppelin album, I just knew, you know what, this is, I kind of think I can do something like this, and drums were just in me immediately, super young. And then like Trevor said, you know, being able to ride our bikes through neighborhoods in Brandon and go find Nasty Savage practicing in, in garages and stuff, and like peeking through windows and going, just seeing a humongous drum kit and just thinking, wow, this is awesome, and I didn't own a drum kit yet, and, and uh, that kind of sparked the bug on all of us, you know, most of us in the Tampa area, Sabotage and, and Nasty Savage kind of showed us the light. You know, my dad was the biggest obituary fan. He, he was proud of his boys and just loved seeing us kicking ass. And that's what, literally what he would say, just go kick their ass tonight. And uh, you know, moms are moms. Moms are kind of like, oh, are you still bothering with that? And you know, when, when are you gonna get a job kind of thing? And she yeah. almost still does that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but that's a mom, you know? <laughs> totally. Yeah, my father, his his side of, that side of the family, they were all musicians. My dad played guitar and my uncle played guitar and bass, and my, my, his, their father was uh, uh, accordion player, like in a total bluegrass type band. So the, he totally loved the idea of the music. In fact, when we did our, remember our vinyl, we did the little seven inch, he, he funded it, you know, paid for the pressing of it for us. Of course, my mom was like, she's still wondering when I'm gonna cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, bought, she did buy me my first little Fender reverb amp, you know, and I remember she was at the uh, store in the, the guy at Thoroughbred Music was asking her, so what kind of music do you play? She's oh, heavy metal. And he goes, oh, don't worry, it's just a phase. You know, this is when I was like 15. I'm like, well, it's a long phase. <laughs> My life is just one big phase. <laughs> they, they, she definitely supports, or always did, but definitely today is like excited about it more than ever, you know, that we're still doing it. <laughs> I think we're all in it together, man. It's just, it's in our blood. We've been doing it so long and it's, the one thing we're good at when we're together on stage and uh, we'll take the shuttle rides and van rides and living out of backpacks and being told when to get on the bus and on the plane and you know it's kind of it is it's a lifestyle it's not just 
about being on stage for that hour. It's the 23 hours together, traveling and trying to get through the tour. And uh, but we have a blast, man. And the fans obviously seeing their reaction is great. You know, it's, it's gives you goosebumps every time. You know, it's it, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. You know, it's it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling that so many people enjoy what you produced. It's pretty intense, actually. Since Kenny and, and Terry got in the band, we're all such tight friends and we're having such a good time together that I don't really remember stopping the writing process. It seems like even though we were done with the songs for Inked and Blood and we got really busy touring and then we did the summertime where you go and you go for two weeks and you come home for three weeks and you go again. We did that five different times and it seems like every time we got together a new riff would pop up and we would somehow know how to be smart enough to re record it. And uh, so it's like, I don't know if we ever really quit coming up with songs that even after Inked was done, besides being super busy writing, writing uh, playing shows, but it's just yeah. an easy, fun process to write music right now as a band. There's always some kind of writing going on in one way, shape, or form. Like, in fact, we were on the Cannibal Corpse tour last year at Irving Plaza, and Terry had this little practice amp backstage he was throwing away because it was breaking, it was falling apart. And I plugged in, I was just playing with it, and, and I uh, started playing this riff, and he's like, what's that? And I go, I don't know, I just made it up. And so he got his cell phone, he recorded me, and filmed me playing it so we wouldn't forget it, you know? <laughs> it's a uh, turn to stones, that, that riff. <laughs> we just knew we had some killer, some heavy songs and some fast ones and some sludge ones, and it was a good, we knew it was good songs. And then, uh, I don't know, the Andreas, when we saw the artwork, you know, we're just like, why well, put any words across that? I mean, that's kind of yeah. what I was thinking. And then we could have thumbed through John's lyric sheet and found a clever word or sentence to call it something, but it was just kind of an easy decision to go, you know what, just let it be classic metal album and, and a classic cover and let fans sit there and trip out on it and look at it and don't worry about some five word name of a record just to try and come up with a name. It was just obituary. Yeah, it's just a logo, you know, it made sense. It was like, just call it that. We've never done it. Pull it out of the deck. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 